like that good inside your mind Just watch me break It looks like baby Amir is sick. Here is their small family's morning routine. Uh, not again. Layla, do you think you can check on a mirror this time since I did it last time? Yeah, I got it. But when it's time to change his diaper, you better get to it. Don't worry, babe, I got you, I promise. Now you want to stop crying. What is it now? Are you hungry? I think you're hungry. Let's go get you a bottle. Having a baby comes along with a lot of sleepless nights, but how can I even be mad at him? I mean, look at him. The alarm is going off already. We barely got any sleep. Well, I might as well just get up and start my morning routine. I'll let Layla sleep in a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and open up these curtains. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the restroom, try to get myself together before Amir wakes up. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is brush my teeth. There we go. God, my breath stinks so much. All right, make sure to brush my tongue too. And that's good enough. All right, let's just wash my face as well so I can kind of wake up a little bit more. And after this, I'm gonna use the restroom. And hopefully today is gonna be a really good day. Oh, you're already awake? My bad, I didn't mean to wake you up. I was trying to be as quiet as possible. Last night was crazy, and I don't mean that in a good way. I'm exhausted. No, don't be sorry. I'm actually glad you woke up before me so I didn't have to smell your morning breath. Yeah, I was just saying my morning breath is terrible. But yeah, I'm so Super sleep deprived. We're definitely gonna have to take your parents up on that offer on babysitting Amir because it's only been two days. Is this how the rest of our lives are gonna be? I can't even stay up to play video games anymore. I'm just glad we're on our college break because having to balance school and parenthood, woo! I don't even wanna think about fall semester right now. It's gonna be crazy. But anyways, good morning, my love. I'll go ahead and start on some breakfast for us after I do my workout, okay? So don't even worry about it. Yes, please, I'm starving. But you seriously gotta stop leaving the toilet seat up. My bad, babe, I'm just really tired, so I forgot, but I won't do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go and work out. 
Okay, since Layla is up, I might as well just turn on all of the lights. Much better. Okay, and I have to try to be as quiet as possible out here because Amir's room is right next door. But this is the only space where we could really fit all of our gem equipment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stretch because that is really important. Oh, I definitely like the view from here. Although I've been feeling really insecure about my body ever since giving birth, one of the many postpartum things I actually love are my stretch marks. I see them as my personal battle scars and they tell a story. And I love absolutely everything about you. You're perfect. Thanks, babe. Of course. I'll go ahead and make breakfast because something tells me Amir's gonna wake up pretty soon. All right, let's get some more lights going on in here. There we go, that is much better. Now, let's see what I'm gonna make for breakfast. Probably something simple. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got this protein powder from the BFF supermarket and I haven't tried it yet. I'll actually go ahead and make a protein shake first. This should definitely fill me up but I'll still make something for Layla. Okay, let's try this. I actually don't like it too much. It's a little bit gritty. I'll drink the rest of it because we are not in the position to be wasting stuff. I guess I'll just make some eggs and bacon. We'll keep it simple. Oh wow, you're already dressed and ready for the day. I think I definitely need to shower. I stink, but I decided that I was gonna make you some eggs and bacon, so I hope you like it. Yeah, you definitely need to freshen up. Okay, no need to be rude. All right, the eggs and bacon are done. So I might as well just eat some too, since I don't like the protein shake that much. Let me check the baby monitor. He's been surprisingly quiet. Oh yeah, good idea. I wanna see. Is there anything I can get you to drink? I can make you some coffee. Coffee sounds so good right now. It does, because we're gonna be really low on energy today. Okay, let's run the coffee maker. All right, there's one cup. You can have this one. And I'll also make a cup for myself. I hope breakfast tastes good. It's kind of hard to mess up eggs and bacon. Okay, you ate literally. The bacon was nice and crispy. What's the thing that you say? And was. Actually, that doesn't sound good when I say it. Yeah, don't ever say that again. I'll wash the dishes. Thanks, babe. I'll go ahead and check on Amir. We did such a great job with this nursery. I look in the mirror. Who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened. Guess we weren't meant to be. I know we had problems. I thought we could fix them. Hey, little man. It's time to wake up. Amir. He is so handsome. He's just like his daddy. Hey, bud. What on earth is that smell? Is that you? Oh, heck no. All right, let's go ahead and get you changed into a fresh diaper. Cause you stink, little man. All right, bud, this is my second time changing your diaper. So go easy on me. And please don't pee on me. First of all, let's take off your dirty diaper and throw that in the trash. Okay, so I think I'm doing this correctly. And then we have to grab a fresh diaper from down here. And then we have to wipe you down. Okay, perfect, you're all clean. And now we have to add some baby powder and some cream. There you go, little man, that's much better. Uh, why are you holding your ear? Is something in there? I don't see anything. Oh no, what's wrong? Come here. Uh, you actually feel kind of hot. Um, Layla, come upstairs. What's wrong? I don't mean to freak out or anything, but Amir's been holding his ear and he feels a little hot. I don't think that's a good thing. It's okay, Amir, it's okay. Oh no, my baby, give him to me. Okay, take him. What should we do? It, it was his right ear. I, I didn't see anything in it. Um, I don't know what could be wrong, but I think it's hurting him. We need to call the doctor. Uh, okay, okay, I'll get him dressed and you make the appointment. Okay, let's find you a, 
It doesn't even matter. Let's just put you in the onesie from earlier. Okay, I got Amir all dressed again. And Layla is making the appointment downstairs. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just get him another bottle. Uh, just to kind of calm him down a bit. Because this bottle's empty. So let's go downstairs. It's okay, it's okay. Shh, shh. Okay, let me just get... Uh, I'll just get this yellow one right here. Happy Baby Hospital, Dr. Coleman speaking. How may I assist you today? Hey, Dr. Coleman, it's Layla. Layla Collins? Oh, hey, Layla. How's everything going? I mean, everything was going fine, but Amir keeps crying. He has a fever, and he keeps tugging on his ear, and it's a little bit red because he's been scratching at it. I know it's last minute, but I was wondering if you guys could be able to squeeze us in. And availability just opened up at 10.30. Do you guys think you can make it? Yes, of course, we'll make it. Thank you, Dr. Coleman. No problem, Layla. See you guys soon. Hey, what happened? Uh, can they see him today? I'm really worried about our little guy. His ear is so red. Thankfully, yes, it's at 10.30. 10.30? Uh, what time is it now? Nine? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just shower and stuff. So here, take him and I'll go get ready. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go and shower and get dressed. But okay, let's close the toilet seat so Layla doesn't get mad at me later. And let me hop in the shower. It's okay, it's okay, mommy's right here. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, so I'm all done with my shower. I got dressed and everything, and now I just need to put on some deodorant. Oh my gosh, it finally arrived. Uh, why is the door open? Oh, you got a package. Here, let me go ahead and carry that for you because it looks like your hands are pretty full. All right, so we brought the package inside and unboxed it. So let's see what Layla bought this time. Layla has absolutely been loving this Frida baby brand. So it looks like that's where all the stuff came from. So we have this electric nose thing that's supposed to take out all your baby's boogers and snot. So that's really gross, but um, okay. The next thing is this gas and colic heating pad. Then there is this three-in-one air purifier, plus it's a sound machine and a nightlight. And then the last thing is this cooling pad, which could actually come in handy right now. Since he has a little fever going, we checked his temperature and it was 99, so it wasn't too bad, but let me go ahead and just take it out of the box now. We might need to test our luck and buy a lottery ticket because this stuff was not cheap. I think that's actually a good idea because we still have bills to pay. Didn't you and your mom just go on a shopping spree? And did. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. Well, it's about time to head to this appointment. There's probably gonna be a little traffic. So let's test out this new stroller. Aw, he fits perfectly in there. You got your wallet? Do you have your wallet? Boy, let's just go. All right, all right, I'm right behind you. I cannot believe that you have me driving around in a pink car. I settled for the pink house because it had all the space we needed. But this car? All of my friends are gonna laugh at me. It looks straight out of the new Barbie movie. Babe, don't be dramatic. Everything is better in pink. All right, I'll help you get a mirror in the back seat. Okay, everyone is buckled up and ready. So now to head to the appointment. Okay, so we just got to the pediatrician's office and now we're just waiting for a mirror to be seen. We did get here a little early, but hopefully they can call us in soon. Yeah, we've been waiting for a hot minute now. Ain't nobody else even up in here. I know, and Amir is still really tired. Oh, I think that's Dr. Coleman right there. Parker family? We can go ahead and leave the stroller out here. Yup. Hey, Dr. Coleman. Come on, let's take Amir into the room. Right this way. <laughs> 
So, what seems to be the problem? I know we spoke briefly on the phone this morning, but let's go into detail. Adrian? Oh, yeah. Um, so, when I was changing Amir this morning, I noticed that his right ear was a little bit red. Um, he's been pulling at it, and I guess he's been scratching at it too. And he also has had a slight fever. When we last checked before we came here, it was about 100 degrees. And of course, we were definitely concerned. And as you can see, uh, his ear is really irritating him. He's been crying all morning. I'm praying it's nothing severe. Oh dear, some ear problems, huh? I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure everything's gonna be okay, Leela. Well, I hope. See, uh, he's pulling out his ear again. Let's get him checked out to see what could be causing this. I hope so. Okay, Dr. Coleman. It's okay, little man. Just stay right there. I definitely see a lot of redness and swelling in his right ear. Oh no, that's definitely not good. I think I know what this is, but to be sure, I'm gonna run a few tests. Okay, Dr. Coleman, do whatever you need to do. Yeah, we want to make sure that we keep him really healthy. There's some yellow liquid coming from his ear. I'm going to collect some of it and run it to the lab. Yellow liquid? I'll be back soon. I shouldn't be long. We're still waiting on Dr. Coleman, but at least Amir isn't crying anymore. Lab results did come back, and like I suspected, baby Amir has an ear infection. What? An ear infection? How could this have happened? Did we do something wrong? Oh no. No, not at all. So, it's common? Yes, this happens to a lot of babies and children, and his case doesn't seem too severe at all. Oh, phew. But um, what are the next steps? For treatment, I'm going to prescribe him a 10-day supply of medication to clear up the infection and some special ear drops to help reduce fever and pain. Okay, that sounds just perfect. We'll make sure and go pick up the prescription the moment that we get the call. Thank you so much, Dr. Coleman. No problem, it's what I'm here for. Hoping your little one feels better soon. Please don't hesitate to call if things get worse. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching Layla and Adrian's morning routine with baby Amir. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!